last several videos I've made have been regarding the Holly Sniper and making it Coast Guard compliant. And I had some issues starting the boat and I thought it could possibly be this very old starter solenoid. And this led me to a discovery about something that I did wrong uh, quite a long time ago. And I wanted to explain some of the reasons um, for that. So initially I had put in this uh, Petronix igniter along with the flamethrower coil, the 1.5 ohm for the V8 as specified. This is the original igniter and flamethrower coil. And what I came across is I wanted to put in a three pole instead of the four pole for the starter solenoid. And so I was doing some voltage tests and tracing wires to see what the fourth one was all about. And that led me to check voltage at the coil because that's where the wire went and it was only five volts, supposed to be 12. And so when I originally hooked this up, I had tested it to, to the point where the old choke on the electric, or the electric choke on the old carburetor was, and I had 12 volts. But once it's under load, it dropped down to five. And I didn't even know this, but a resistor wire existed, and that was what was dropping the voltage. So now we're going to eliminate that wire and should have a substantially better spark. And that might lead to some of the issues I've had when shifting out of gear and the engine stalling very easily. So I'm hoping that remedies some of that. And we'll wire it up and uh, see how it goes. So now I have uh, bypassed the resistor wire. I went right from the key switch and hooked right up to the coil. And with, with kind of a weak battery at 12 volts, I got 9.3 at the coil now. So it's about uh, almost four and a half volts more.